Okay, so Rich from the motorcycle garage. Um, I just uh, want to run through the Vident IBT100 battery tester, which I've had quite a while now. And just to demonstrate, um, because it really is good, it's the only way to really test a battery. Of course, you can test it in or out of the vehicle. I'm testing it out at the moment. Motorcycle or whatever, doesn't matter. Or car battery, doesn't matter. Um, so I'll just show you. Um, first of all, obviously, uh, you've got the battery, and you just clip it on normal, black for neutral, and red for positive. Um, and firstly, when, when it, it, it actually starts straight away, there's no turning or anything like that, and um, I'm going to sort out the screen here, sorry about this. Uh, it should say, it does say, I can read it anyway, uh, 12.83 volts, okay, right, this battery has been fully charged for hours, and it's showing fully charged on the charger there, which I used, okay, um, it's running flat on the vehicle, so it's coming down quite fast, but anyway, there it is, so that's the first thing you do, and then the next thing you do is just pl click, um, okay, and then, oh, I'm trying to actually you can see it. It says, um, the battery location where you're testing it. We're out of vehicle, so you just click OK again. Then it's regular, regular flooded AGM or gel. Um, and this is just regular flooded, so you click it again. And then it's an EM, which is the battery status for um, the area and also the type of battery. Um, click again OK now this is the thing you can adjust this is the cold cranking amp it's all the EM basically um, and you can adjust this to how or what it is um, now it is a as you can see there it's 800 hour 800 amps sorry cold cranking amps so um, or just 800 amps however you want to think of it so you move that up or down to whatever the battery is so we're clicking it up now to 800 amps then you click OK and then it does its work um, now here we go so the report is um, if I can get it clear for you the report is 12.815 but it says immediately replace battery so it tells you after the um, assessment basically uh, it says it's measured only you see the measured is 334 cold cranking amps EM and rated at 800, which it is, so it's like 30, whereas it says it's 35% usage and that's fully charged. That's why it's saying it's assessed in saying no, it's got to be replaced because it's got 35% basic kick uh, for the vehicle and it just is had it really. Um, so it's pretty useful, it's pretty instant and it really does test the battery. Not that. If you put a normal voltmeter on anything, oh, that's all right, it's 12.81 volts. Oh, that's fine, stick it back in the vehicle. No. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's no good. Um, and that's after fully charged. Um, it was over, over 13 volts when I put it on there. So it's fully charged. Um, and I think it's pretty useful. Pretty useful to a very simple thing. Not that expensive, can't remember. There's all the detail to it. So uh, rated input, six to there. Um, yeah, so there we go. Thought you might be interested. Um, it really is a useful tool because it really puts you in position, especially when it's in the vehicle. When you're not sure you charge anything, oh, I don't know if that lasts or not. Oh, it's fine. It's not necessarily. So it will just tell you. This one's saying replace battery, as I say. It will say fine, whatever it will say. But you will see the results. And the key one is the SOH. That's the um, status of the battery. So um, anyway thought I'd uh, just run through the uh, Vidant, which I find is a brilliant bit of kit. I'll see you again. Bye.